I wanted to find someone who cooks the most authentic traditional Indian food in Durban. And I think I found her. Who better than Nishana Suleiman, whose recipes are amongst the most popular on the Gray Street Casbah Recipe Facebook page. Join me, Kevin Joseph, as we discover local flavor. Hi, Ishana. Awesome to see you again. How are you? I'm well, thank you, Kevin. Really nice to see you again. You know, that amazing mutton curry that we cooked the last time, everyone's raving about it. What are we cooking today? Are we going to make a traditional pumpkin curry today? Normally, you could use a variety of pumpkins, but I'm using butternut. Instead. Well, I was going to say that that doesn't look like pumpkin, but now you've corrected me, that's butternut. Butternut. What are the ingredients for this dish? Okay, I'm using jeera seeds, mustard seeds, methi seeds, some dry red chilies, silvered garlic, onion, your dhania, butternut, green chilies, cinnamon sticks, salt, and curry leaves. Well, that sounds interesting. Maybe we should get started. Yes, I'm going to add the sunfire oil. Okay. Now I'm going to add the seeds and the dry chilies, onion. Just give that a little bit of a toss. And you see we're getting the lovely aromas of the yeah. um, I can the actually spices. definitely smell that. All right, we're going to leave this to brown. Okay, they're nicely golden brown. Now we can add um, the cinnamon sticks and okay. the garlic. Right, we add the garlic at this stage so that um, it doesn't get burnt. It can be very bitter if you have burnt garlic in your dish. So Ishana, I've noticed that you're using whole spices as opposed to powdered spices. Yes, in uh, normal Indian dishes, in Indian curries, we use the powdered spices. But in our traditional pumpkin curry, we use the whole spices. It gives the dish a lovely crunchy uh, texture when you're eating the, uh, the pumpkin. Okay, now we're going to be adding the uh, pumpkin or the butternut in this case. I need the green chilies and the salt. Give that a nice toss. All right, now we're going to leave it to cook approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Ishana, growing up in the Gray Street Casbah area, you guys, I'm sure, went out to the market to source your ingredients. What interesting memories do you have of that? I have some wonderful memories. I live directly across the street from the Warwick Avenue market. And whenever I needed my fresh ingredients, I just had to cross the road, pop into the market and get whatever I needed. We were very fortunate. Okay, I think it's done now. Oh, that looks awesome. That does. What's the next step now? Okay, we're gonna throw in the dhania and then the curry leaf. And that's our pumpkin curry. What would you traditionally serve pumpkin curry with? You could serve it with roti or with puri. Puri? Yes. Now, are we going to be making some puri today? Yes, absolutely. You want to run me through the ingredients? Okay, I've got flour, milk and sour milk, baking powder, fine salt, spatty ghee, and of course, sunfire oil for frying. Excellent. So we're going to get started on making the puris now. Okay, I'm going to sip the dry ingredients. Now I'm adding the butter ghee. I'm going to rub that in with my fingertips. I'm going to now add the sour milk and the milk that I've mixed together to make a nice dough. I'm going to use my fingers or my hands now to knead it. The more you knead, the nicer your puris turn out. Now it's time for us to roll it out. And now I'm going to cut out the puris. Kevin, could you please turn the stove on for me and pour the sun foil oil for me as well? No Thank problem. you. So I see you've got some salt in your hand. Yes, I learned an amazing tip from one of my friends. If you add a little bit of salt on the edge of your frying pan, it prevents your puris from absorbing oil. Well, I've learned something today, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to add the puris in. You've got to tap the puris in order to let them puff up. Wow, that's very impressive. I can actually see that puffing up. Yes. And when do you know that they're done? It gets done really quickly. Once it puffs up, you turn it onto the opposite side okay. and it's done. That looks amazing, really it does. Okay, Kevin, now it's time for you to taste. And I've been waiting, so I'm definitely going to do that. That is amazing. And I can see the benefit of utilizing whole spices as opposed to powder because every bite gives you a new burst of flavor. It is really delicious. Thank you, Kevin. If you want to try this amazing recipe, go to sunfoil.co.za. I'm Kevin Joseph for Local Flavor.